Hello, and welcome to Empower the Podcast. My name is Linda, and I am your host. I am an empowerment coach, a spirit junkie, a realtor, a proud mom, and a dog mom. I'm also an animal advocate, a child advocate, and someone that overcame a lot of challenges and trauma in my life. This podcast is packed with powerful content, inspiring conversations with amazing guests who will help you heal, grow, and evolve into a better version of you so you can attract in your best and most empowered life. I don't know about you, but I'm not here for mediocrity. I'm here for an abundant, blessed life. Life does not have to be so hard. That is an old program. We can do less and attract more, and I know this to be true. I love bringing you this powerful information. I hope you enjoy, learn, and grow. Have a beautiful day. Hello, and welcome to Empowered, the podcast. I'm your host, Linda Brand. Happy Saturday. I wanted to talk about gratitude today. It's kind of like drinking water. You cannot hear enough about gratitude. Practicing gratitude is very powerful. It has many benefits. It can change your mindset. It can change your mood. I mean, what we focus on grows. When you focus on your problems, your problems grow. When you focus on your blessings, you have more to be grateful for. You receive more to be grateful for. It's huge. I love reminding you of this. It's extremely powerful. There's many health benefits. There's study after study showing the the health benefits, sleeping better, so many things. Definitely feeling better and raising your vibration is key. Also, there was a podcast that I was on and she was saying that some guy cured himself of cancer through gratitude. And I believe it. I believe it. Um, When I began doing gratitude, I had my health problems back in 2011 and 2012. And I started writing in a gratitude journal every single night. Even when I traveled, I was writing in this gratitude journal. So we're talking over 12 years, 11 years. And there's evidence, you know, gratitude has many benefits, especially releasing negative emotions and having less negative emotions. So how do we practice gratitude? We can use a notebook next to the bed and every evening you can write in there things that you're grateful for that happened during the day. You can write things that are great. You're grateful for period, write down three things, five things, and you can say it out loud. You can do it in the morning. You can do it in the voice memos of your phone. I used to have a notebook next to the bed and a journal, and I would write every night what I was thankful for. It could be that the sun was shining. It could be that I had a great workout. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, major. But the more you do it, the more things flow and you realize how grateful and how blessed you really are. I thank God every morning when I wake up because tomorrow's not promised and every day is a gift. So sometimes I'm out and about and maybe I'm not in the best mood and I'll just start or things are going the wrong way, then I'll really start saying things I'm grateful for and it shifts me right away. Or if I'm out and about and I see somebody in a wheelchair or somebody taking care of a child in a wheelchair, I'm like, I just am so grateful for my life and just so grateful. You know, it it shifts you. It makes you realize you have no problems. And um, I'm currently doing voice memos with someone that we we send each other voice notes of what we're thankful for. And then we also send for what we're thankful for that has not happened yet. And that's how you manifest quickly is getting into the feelings of the things that you don't have yet, but you're grateful for. So you're manifesting by saying things that you're grateful for that have not happened yet in the present tense as if they've already happened. And it's so fun. It's so fun. And, you know, there's definitely proof that negative thoughts cause dis-ease in the body. It causes dis-ease in the body. So why wouldn't positive thoughts and gratitude heal the body and cause the body to heal? I mean, how many people do you know that are toxic and negative and in ways that they think and behave and they end up sick with cancer? I know people like that. So I wanted to share this positive information around gratitude. And I also wanted to tell you about my Monday episode with the Liz, she's a nutrition coach. She helped me and she healed her own challenges. She's a former engineer who got into nutrition because she had to heal her own challenges when the doctors failed her. So you're going to love her. I really enjoyed talking with her. It's a pretty long podcast. I love bringing you this powerful information like the breath work with Jen Liss and the gratitude practice 
and then healing your gut through nutrition and healing everything. Because the other thing you're going to learn from Liz is that everything's linked to the gut, the digestive, your immune system, your skin, your mental health, your brain health, all of it's linked to your gut health, your nutrition. So it's really a powerful conversation. I hope you'll listen. It's on Monday. If you enjoy today's episode or the episodes I'm talking about, I would love it if you shared with a friend. I want to grow this audience as much as I can and help as many people as I can. And I love bringing you this stuff because it helps you live a more empowered life, take control of your life, the things that you can control. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode on gratitude. If you did, please take a moment, write a review, subscribe so you know when the next episode is. And of course, share with somebody who may benefit by listening. Have a beautiful, blessed day and live empowered. And all my links are in the show notes if you want to find me. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of Empowered, the podcast. It means so much to me that you are here, that you're listening. I hope you learned something. I hope you found value. If you enjoyed it, please share with someone you think would benefit from it. If you'd like to connect with me, feel free to contact me on Instagram at Linda Brand Coach or Linda Brand Homes. You can also find me on Facebook. I would love to hear from you. Send me a message. Also, I'm happy to do a free discovery call. If you're looking for a coach, I would love that. Also, if you could leave a rating and review, I would love that. It would help me so much to grow this audience and help as many people as I can. Have a beautiful, blessed rest of your day and live empowered. Thank you.